Alright, so apropos, the MTA gave us a bronze historical map here because I want to talk to you about history. Before the MTA, there was a spur of the Staten Island Railroad that used to service this community, South Beach, Midland Beach. On the North Shore, there was a rail line that used to serve people who actually lived there. Before the MTA, there were ferries to Brooklyn. Before the MTA, there were ferries to other parts of the city in New Jersey. At one point, we even tried to dig a tunnel. Now, it's called the Narrows, but it was just too wide for the MTA to complete it. We have four bus depots. Soon we'll have three. We used to have 32,000 people who ride express buses. Now we have 22. In all these things, the MTA has failed us. In all these things, the MTA has failed to deliver results for the people of Staten Island. But at last, they gave us one thing. They gave us a giant bridge. Twelve lanes. Biggest son of a bitch bridge in the city. And they said, this is how you're going to get to Manhattan. This is our gift to you. And it was 50 cents, and then it was a dollar, and then two, and then three, and then four. And once they realized they could pay for the other trains and buses and ferries and things around the city, they made it six and seven and eight and nine, and now it's $20. And again, the commonality in all this is that the MTA failed to deliver public transit, but will now charge us for the privilege of relying on the only means of transportation they've given us. This is why Staten Islanders are so mad. This is why Staten Islanders view John Lieber as an absolute failure. His job, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, is to provide transportation. He has failed. His predecessors has failed. And now the agency says, well, we can't do anything without more money, and guess who has to pay it? The people who we failed, the people who have to drive, whether they're from Staten Island or Brooklyn or the Hudson Valley or in New Jersey or wherever in between. That is the fundamental injustice of congestion pricing. Now, Kathy Hochul, known for her political acumen, has made a very sharp analysis. It is poor politics to charge people for government's failure. Well, she's right. She's right. Well, I'll remind her that there's an election in two years. And she's going to want those same people who weren't mad at her party in this election cycle to not be mad at her again. Again, I mean, I could probably charge a consulting fee to our campaign for this advice. <laughs> but it's still fundamentally true. It's unpopular now. It will be unpopular then. Governor Hochul, please take John Lieber and tell him to go fly a kite somewhere, get rid of him, and replace the MTA brass with people who actually want to address public transit and do it in a way that saves the taxpayer money and makes government efficient. Thank you. All right. I encourage the press after this to ask Joe Borelli why he calls him John Lieber, because it's a good answer, but that's for later. <laughs>